How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be looking at Marvel's Fantastic Four Fire Lord. And we've got the Human Torch with us today. We're going to be doing a little comparison versus. And if we have a Herald, we have the Coming of Galactus. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Cool retro artwork of the Fantastic Four. Ugh, let it go. <laughs> On the other side... Galactus transforms Xandarian naval officer Pyreus Krill into his newest herald, the unwavering Fire Lord. And just a close look of him in the package, because he really does look great there. The yellow, the red, the orange. All right, let's get him out of the package. Immediate impression of this guy out of the package. Wow, the matte deco coloring looks absolutely great. Even here along the forearms, the transitions between the red and the orange, super crisp, super sharp. Here by the thigh, very, very cool. Great deco, even the white. I mean, the paint is applied super well and that matte orange just absorbs light brilliantly. I mean, it looks great. The face portrait looks absolutely great also. The white just pops off of his face. I mean, just the dark discoloration there on his lips. Really well done, man. His fiery hair piece. Let's look at his accessories really quickly. He doesn't really come with much, but what he does come with makes sense. So he has a pair of gripping hands in addition to the fists. And these have the horizontal hinges for holding on to the staff with the fire at both ends. And this thing looks great. It is pliable overall so that's interesting very cool touch let's look at articulation and just looking at the buck we can expect the standard fare which is not bad at all in the head we've got full rotation we've got good tilt he's got great range up he's got great look down at the shoulders he's got those butterfly joints they're going to give you all kind of movement and outstanding range backward And this is what you would see if he were swooping down at you. Great arch in the back. Great slouch forward with that awesome ab crunch. He also has great movement to the front where he can flex on you with those shoulders thanks to the butterfly joints. Really nice. You've got the cut at the biceps. You've got the double jointed elbows and the rotation at the wrist with the horizontal fist in this case. You've got the rotation there at the waist that we're accustomed to. You've got the 90 degrees at the armpits with an outstanding split. Swivels at the upper thighs. Great double jointed knees. Amazing ankles looking downward. Up pretty decent. Ankle rocker. All right, let's jump into today's versus comparison. And I will bring out immediately the Human Torch. Easily one of my favorite figures in my Marvel Legends collection is this Human Torch. Deco for Deco, I think, they, I think they're comparable. You know, you've got the translucent thing going on with the Human Torch. This piece is removable. Oh, and that looks nice on Fire Lord. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, Human Torch. <laughs> Even apart from this little accessory, I think that Fire Lord can hang Deco for Deco even though Human Torch has these additional flames along his hands and his forearm up here on his head. But the chain, the variances in paint deco, I think for me, really, really look that great in person. The face portrait has a ton more detail and what they did here with the flame effects in the hair, two-toning the gloss and the matte on the fire, so, so cool. So I definitely think that Fire Lord can hang. From a deco perspective, Articulation, they're identical. All right, and what I'd like to do for the rest of today's comparison, I'd like to set it up almost like a showdown. So we got Fire Lord, we've got Human Torch. Next up, I will bring out Firestar. As one of our fire wielders, uh, she looks great. I love the red, orange, and yellow deco. I just, I guess I like that color palette in general. Great paint applications on her face portrait. Really awesome, really tough. Next up, I will bring out Sunfire. Can't say he was one of my, or is one of my favorite characters at all in the Marvel Universe. I just love the appearance of him. There's a gloss even on the 
base plastic of the figure. So you got the gloss on the black and then the gloss all on the translucent yellow, which is so, so cool. I wish by contrast, for example, that Human Torch had that same kind of gloss. You do see some gloss here, right? And that looks great. But then here it's more muted. And last but not least, for our, what I call my fire team, Pyro. Another one of my favorite Marvel Legends figs. And he just looks great, feels great in hand. Very cool, nailed the face portrait. Nice little shot right there. And just looking at that face off, it looks to me like Fire Lord is unfazed. <laughs> he's completely unfazed. He doesn't have his weapon with him because he's immune to all fire damage. And he possesses a fraction of the powers of the devourer of planets, Galactus. And just a fraction of that power is enough to clean the table with our four fire team members. But fortunately, this is not a face off to the death today because they are all now officially part of my fire team. And I think they look absolutely great together. Heck yeah. I was thinking of adding Dormammu to this mix, but then he would throw off the whole chemistry of an easy win for Fire Lord because he's kind of like a cosmic being, Dormammu is. Overall impressions with Fire Lord, the heralds are arriving. Galactus is coming. Heck yeah, everybody. As always, I'm having a lot of fun taking these times out to share the experience of collecting toys as an adult, and I hope you're able to keep coming back and share some experiences too. Until next time. Behold the coming of Galactus. Behold the world eating machine. <laughs> I didn't plan that either. <laughs> Until next time, everybody. Take care.